Browsing through the history of the 400 meters, it becomes obvious that the race may well be described as one of the most American of all events. American athletes have won 19 gold medals out of 28 in the Olympics and 10 out of 16 in the World Championships. The 400-meter dash made its debut in the first-ever modern Olympic Games, held in Athens in 1896. The inaugural champion was Thomas Burke, who won a unique 100-meter, 400-meter double, finishing in 12.0 and 54.2 seconds respectively. In 1912, Charles Reedpath won the gold medal at Stockholm Olympics, setting a new world record of 48.2 seconds, the first 400-meter world record recognized by the IAAF. In 1916, Ted Meredith set the first official world record for 440 yards in 47.4 seconds. Meredith, who had won the 1912 Olympic 800-meter gold medal, strongly influenced 400-meter training methods and competition for several decades. All coaching books printed during this time include the 400-meter race under middle distance events and training. The 400-meter race only became a sprint race following the victory of Eric Liddell in the 1924 Olympics. Little, who was best known for his accomplishments in the 100m and 200m, sprinted all out to a clear lead at the 200m with a split time of 22.2 and ripped through the tape in a new world record of 47.6 seconds. In the 1930s, most American coaches believed that the 400m specialist should set a pace fast enough to kill off the sprinter. Both this judgment and the close relationship between the 400m and the 800m races was strongly supported when Rudolf Harbig set new world records for 400m in 46 seconds and 800m in 146.6 within three weeks. Herb McKinley was the first person to break the 46 second barrier in 1947. McKinley was a terrible judge of pace early in his career. He ran four world record times in the 1940s and 1950s, all of which consisted of splits of around 21 and 25. Not surprisingly, he was caught on near the finish line in the Olympic final in 1948. Curiously, Arthur Wint, the winner in 1948, followed McKinley's tactics in Helsinki in 1952 and uncharacteristically blasted through 200 meters in a personal best and then faded badly to fifth. The 44-second barrier was broken in 1968, thanks partly to Mexico's altitude and because Lee Evans was pushed all the way by Larry James. Evans' time was a groundbreaking 43.86 and James also ran inside the old record with 43.97. Lee Evans believed there should be only one second differential between the first 200 meters and the second 200 meters in a quality 400 meter race. He knew the value of even pace racing for the 400 meters. His world record splits were 21.4 and 22.4. The Cuban runner Alberto Huantarena also proved a close connection between the one and two lap races. He won the gold medals of both the 400 meters and 800 meters at the 1976 Olympics in Montreal, a feat that has remained unmatched. His 44.26 victory was the fastest ever sea level clocking at that time. While in 1987, Butch Reynolds ran 44.10, improving Juan Terena's mark run at sea level, Reynolds knew he was finally ready for the assault on Lee Evans's long-standing 400 meter world record. In 1988, Butch Reynolds set a 400m dash world record with 43.29 seconds, smashing Lee Evans's 20 years old world record by an astounding 0.57 seconds. His two sub-22 seconds 200m set a new standard of running the 400m. This near-perfect performance consisted of 21.4 and 21.90 splits and 11.20 home stretch, which is still the fastest finish in history up to date. Michael Johnson, history's greatest 400m specialist, broke 44 seconds 22 times, more than twice as many times as any other athlete. And the exciting part is that he never ran the first half under 21 seconds. His 43.66 race in 1996, with negative splits of 21.9 and 21.8, 
was the most striking hint of his potential to break Reynolds' unbreakable world record. He broke Reynolds' record three years later in one spectacular circuit of the Olympic Stadium in Seville. Johnson confirmed his status as the greatest 400-meter runner by taking the gold with the world record of 43.18. For the first 200 meters, which he ran in 21.22 seconds, it seemed as if Johnson was contenting himself with a win, simply matching the speed of those running outside him. But on the final turn, he pushed harder, and by the time he entered the straight, his rivals were in another race. The race execution was very similar to that of Reynolds with both halves under 22 seconds. After Wade van Niekerk's win at the 2015 World Championships in 43.48, there was a prevailing feeling that Michael Johnson's 20-year-old Olympic record, which was just 100th shy of that mark, might be in danger in Rio. Instead, it was his world record that fell. Van Niekerk attacked the race hard from the start. He reached 100 meters in 10.7, a time only bettered during a 400 meter by Tyson Gay during 45.05 in 2010. His 20.5 20 for the 200 meter is the second fastest split in history. Only Merritt's 20.44 from this very race is quicker. Van Niekerk then started to pull away at about 250 meter and crossed the 300 meter mark in 31.04 by far the fastest in history. It should be noted that Merritt and James were also under Johnson's world record pace at 300 meter, but they decelerated dramatically more than Van Niekerk, who was able to maintain his sprint with a world record of 43.03 seconds. Wade Van Niekerk is also one of the two sub-44 sprinters who managed to run the 400 meters with negative splits. It was an even race with 11.3 at 100 meters, 21.9 and 200 meters, and 11.4 for the last 100 meters, finishing his first sub-44 race in 43.96 seconds. Since nobody can run the 400 meters all out from the beginning to the end, being able to distribute speed and energies in the most effective way over the total distance is a trait only the best athletes possess. Thus, good pace judgment and distribution of effort are the primary means to achieve success in the 400 meters. One interesting stat is that every single world record, from the 60 meters to the marathon, was set with negative splits, except 400 and 800 meters. It is obvious that the hardest races to master are the 400 meter and 800 meter races, but this also means that there's great room for improvement with proper training. Thank you.